rated A for awesome. All right, yeah. So YouTube, what the fuck's going on, guys? It's Blake X Sniper. You guys call me Blake. We're gonna be doing uh, the hashtag Ask Blake Q and A today, and we're gonna try and see if we can actually get a little bit more of this going throughout the weeks. Depending if you guys like it, so drop a like if you guys enjoy do enjoy this video. I'm fucking I'm sleepy. Holy shit. All right, so question number one. What was your first ever Call of Duty? Call of Duty 2 Big Red One. It was for the PlayStation 2. I played it online. It was actually not that bad of a game, World War II style, but it wasn't the thing that I was looking for. There is a lot better games out there, in my opinion, for PS2. There was Black Hawk Down, which was a super competitive game, and it was a lot of fun. It was more of the kill feed -y type field game, where COD, COD 2, you had to like go, you couldn't even create a class, you had to go pick a gun off the ground and then like it was like map control and it, it just wasn't it just wasn't my thing so cod 2 was my first game however cod 4 was the game that got me interested in call of duty next one if you could only play one game for an entire year which game would it be oh man fuck maybe like ocarina of time uh, yeah i'd say i'd say i would definitely say cod or runescape because it's just like they have so much things about it i don't don't guys okay don't don't roast me too hard don't how long have you been on Twitch? I've been on Twitch since like 2013. I've been on YouTube since 2008. So that's a long fucking time. But the thing is, I never took YouTube or streaming seriously until I'd say about 2016, where um, I'm literally streaming every day and it's been like seven or eight months. No, six or seven months so far. Tw it's beginning of 2016, come on, you guys can do the math. And I'm sure when you guys are watching this video, even if it's been six months later, I'm probably still streaming for that time. So yeah, start of 16, 2016 is when I started really streaming hard and getting the growth of Twitch and it's been growing my YouTube and it's just been fucking awesome. So I really appreciate you guys. What was the most awkward moment in my life? Um, I'm really bad at these because I don't really know like the worst one in my life, but dude, what inspired me to be a YouTuber slash streamer? Okay, so I started YouTube back in 2008. I maybe a little bit earlier. I don't. I don't remember if I had a second account. Uh, but my my it says my date creation was 2008. I started YouTube because of a game called Ratchet and Clank UIA, which is you know another PS2 online game. Uh, that was a really small community. It was a little bit bigger back then uh, because there wasn't many games on PS2 for online because not many people even knew about it being online. But Ratchet & Clank was one of those games that were just fucking awesome and it took so much skill to be good at. So I think I was a lot, I was really respected as a player for being good on that game. Uh, a lot of people in the, and I, to clarify, I started YouTube first. I think there wasn't a YouTuber or a streamer that made me be like want to be a YouTube slash streamer. It was the fact that like there are so many people on this game called Ratchet and Clank UIA. Uh, that everybody was making these things called tribute videos, and you can even go on my page. And I'm sure one of my first videos was a tribute video. And basically, what that vid does, or uh, is supposed to be about, something along the lines of like tributing to the good players or tributing to you know the fun players or anything like that it was, a, it was a small community so a lot of people knew each other so they're, they're usually when somebody left the game which people do it was only for ps2 they'd make a tribute to the players and the names because i could like could list off like halifax rocky um slayo slayo's slayo's still on my friends list um back then his name was master d and thank god he changed it because can you imagine being master d <laughs> right like no he'd fucking want to kill himself holy shit i'd want it yeah, I don't, I'd want to drink bleach. Do you have any tips for hitting clips? Uh, be good. No, just kidding. Uh, alright, so when you start up your game, you don't want to just go into a ground war lobby and get shit stomped right off the rip when you got these cold ass thumbs. Nah, you want to go into a private lobby, you want to get a custom, yeah, a custom private lobby. You want to get some bots and you want to practice your aim. Because the thing with, in public games, it takes so fucking long to get your shot warm sometimes. And it, if you miss one shot you're dead so you really need to be good with that one shot and you don't really get the opportunity to practice that one shot because so with bots it gives you the opportunity to actually learn how to aim properly and it that's it's seriously one of the best ways in my opinion to get warmed up i think also another people should try and learn to do uh that i was really bad at when i went to ps4 uh lower your sensitivity and try to learn how to center so instead of drag scoping something like zooming in and then drag scoping 
drag scoping, you'll miss. Like you'll you'll just miss. Instead, you want to like come out and you want to aim at the person, make sure that they're in your lot, like in your fucking whatever crosshairs, and then you quick scope them or zoom in. I know that my hands are making this fucking awkward, but regardless, that's how you hit clips. Is you want to learn how to center, you want to turn on your sensitivity, and you want to practice on bots. Those are some of my biggest tips. I'm sure you guys have seen Sprat's video. That's another good one if you want to check that out. It's really good for sniping, at least for Black Ops 3 of this of this time. Blake X Sniper, when you when did you decide you wanted to start streaming? All right, now this is different from when I uh, started streaming and to why I wanted to start streaming. Okay, so before 2016, around 2015, around December 15th ish my computer just fucking died like legit. I was I was hitting clips I was playing GB's I was doing really good. I was like I'm feeling really good about this Maybe I should take an honest jab at like, you know competitive or something something like that My computer fucking blew up basically. I was like holy shit. This is like a two-week month process Once I get that once I get that back once I get my stuff back I'm I'm gonna stream every day fuck it fuck it I think I should take an honest jab and then I started streaming every day. I'm like, oh yo we got like Twitch alerts and stuff now. This is cool. This is cool. And then, then I noticed I'm like, wow, we got like two or four people every day coming in here, following. That's crazy. So I, in a year, in a year, if I do this every day, I could hit a thousand. That'd be really cool. Boom! Six months later, we're at like 1.8k. Jesus, fuck, guys. Thank you. Holy shit. You guys are crazy. I don't even know how I look right now. Uh, yeah, that's fucking manky. What is the one thing you've always wanted to do but never did? Example, I always wanted to go bungee jumping. Oh, man. I've always wanted to hit a five on collateral, but I never fucking did. Five on collateral, five on collateral would be so beautiful, it's such a godly clip. No way I've never hit that. If I want to do something, like if I really want to do something, I'll end up going out and doing it. Like, that, that's kind of the way that uh, I am. I'm not saying, like, I want a Lamborghini or something like that. Obviously, I'm not going to get it. But, I mean, I'm in, the, in, like, in the future, I might be able to. I'm working on it. You know what I'm saying? So, maybe, maybe a smaller one is, I want to go snowboard. I want to go snowboarding more. I'll say that. I want to hit a 5 on collateral, and I want to go snowboarding more. Are you still a virgin, Kappa? Holy fucking shit. Yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit expired a long fucking... Alright, I appreciate you guys coming into the stream. Please do drop a like. I know I've said that a million fucking times and that's kind of annoying. But regardless, YouTube, you're fucking beautiful.